Axel Nerd Verdnord presents Visual Pen, which for the first time ever allows you to turn a pen into a playing card or even make a pen appear. Well, for the first time ever, if you never learned basic pen manipulation in the first place. Now, what we have here is a trick that solves a problem that doesn't exist. It will proudly say that it allows you to turn a pen into a card using cleverly made gimmicks. The problem is, the gimmicks look like nothing on God's green earth. They're designed to look like a pen, but they're bigger, they're fatter, and it's fairly obvious that they're not a pen. However, that's not the main problem. The main problem is twofold. First of all, and probably the most important thing is it is a very substandard tutorial with no live performances. If you're presenting a trick to me that claims that it can turn a pen into a playing card, then why would you not include live performances? Go to a bar, go to a restaurant, go to a friend's house, walk around outside, I don't care. But if it's so practical and so commercial, why would you not spend a few minutes getting a live performance as opposed to performing it direct to camera? As it is, it makes claims that I don't know whether are correct or not because they can't even be asked to include a live performance. Then you have the actual trick, which is substandard at best. Everything presented on this you can do without the gimmicks that are included. And if you really want to turn a pen into a playing card, which is the main routine on here, then the better option would be Look Sharp by Wayne Goodman. It allows you to create the moment in the audience's head that the pen changes into a card whilst being held on by the spectator as opposed to a dodgy visual using a gimmick. Plus, there's live performances, and the new version allows you to have the card signed. Compare that to Visual Pen, which uses a gimmick which won't reset. It uses uh, a card that can't be signed, and I don't know whether the angles are gonna work. I don't know whether it's gonna work because they couldn't be bothered to show me a live performance. So I'm left with the impression that this just really isn't going to work. And again, solves a problem that doesn't exist. Magic producers, if you are producing a product, stop half-arsing things and get a live performance. And then maybe release magic that you, we can see from the tutorial actually works. Mmm.